Hello, this is the quick video to getting started with the Amazon AWS Device Farm. Amazon AWS Device Farm is the platform where we can test our mobile applications like Android or iOS on the real-time devices in the AWS Cloud. So before going ahead, we need to know the prerequisites. So uh, first of all, we need to have an AWS account. Then we need to have the Android or iOS build file on which we are to automate. Uh, we need to have our test suit for testing, which includes our test scripts. So let's get started with the demonstration. Here's the Amazon Web Services, and we can find the device farm in the mobile services. This is the device farm. So yeah, uh, this is the repository where we can create our workspace. So you can create a new create a new workspace. I have my own, so uh, I will create in this. So yeah, these are the test runs which I have run uh, before. So I will create a new one. So um, this is the first step. We need to choose the application like Android application uh, we have the sample Android application so we will uh, test on this so we we'll just upload this Android application We have successfully uploaded our Android application, so we can change the name of the APK as well. Uh, going to the next step, um, we need to configure our test. So, uh, AWS Device Farm has given us the options where we can choose the our test suit. Uh, sorry for that. If you have any framework which is built in Java test engine in your lo local so we can upload it from here so we I am not having any framework so we will just go through the built-in first so built-in first is the test type provided by device farm it will test our application by sending some random events it requires no script the scripts are automatically generated by the AWS device farm so uh, we will just go to the next step This is a select device. Uh, it is a device pool provided by device farm. So it provides the top devices by default. And we can select any device randomly if you want from here. So these are the devices. You can select it from here. So for testing, we will just select our device mode 2. So we will do testing on this. Go to next step. So this is uh, this is the device state. So in this, uh, if we want any extra data, if we need any extra data for the testing, we can upload it from here. So if uh, other if we need any application which is dependent on the application which we are testing, so we can upload it from here. Here are the radio states. Um, so the application will be tested by uh, when the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or GPS will be on or off. So device, it is, it, this is the device location, the app, application will be tested on, from the various uh, locations. We need to give the longitude and latitude of that. We can test our application in any language, selecting here. These are the network profiles. <coughs> We can set the dummy network profiles here for the testing. Next. So uh, here's the here we can start the run. So this is the uh, minute per device. We just for testing we keep it for five minutes. So we can end it soon. and we will start the run it 
is taking some time. We can see it's now pending in state. Now it has started execution. It has started execution on real-time device in AWS device farm. Uh, after some time, it will show us a detailed report. It will take some time. So I have the same test run which I have executed previously. So we will just take a look at that. It will take some time. These are the test runs. Okay. Uh, it has executed all its test runs and um, all the tests were passed. So uh, uh, first I have tested it on the Samsung Galaxy. So when you click on the device, it will show us all the logs, uh, suits, performance, files. It's uh, AWS device files provided us these kinds of uh, test files. Sorry, features. Uh, so it also provides us the video, which we we can't uh, see during the execution. So they have provided it laterly after it has executed. So this is how the, it has executed the test scripts. So this is the video. Uh, these are the test suits which it has executed. So each test suits have its detailed report. It has its separate log. It, AWS device form gives us the logs by which we can see we can download it from here so every step executed we can detect from here so it also provides us the feature like performance CPU utilization memory utilization how much memory is utilized during the execution threads how many threads it has utilized how many threads were running at the same time it provides us a screenshot as well at the time of execution so these are the test reports it provides us So let me quickly show you uh, what happens when what what it shows when the test fails. So I previously executed one test run uh, and it has failed one test case. So let's see the how it looks. See the first one. It, uh, it when it is failing, so it shows the test cases which are failed at the first and the test cases which are uh, passing shows at the last so we can see the detailed report why the test case is uh, failed here the uh, unique failure is displayed here is the reason why the test is failed gives us that uh, reason so that's it hope you have got the enough idea how to use the device farm thank you